Hey guys, yesterday I went to South Tampa to visit a former student of mine and her neighbor who are growing food at their parents' house. So let's take a look at the video. All right, I'm here with um, Peyton and Hunter at their garden over at Peyton's house. A little bit later, we're gonna go over to Hunter's and see his garden. But they have a YouTube channel, a gardening channel called Garden Life. I'm gonna leave that link down below on the bottom so you can check them out. Um, hi guys, how you doing this morning? Good. All right. So why don't you guys kind of show me around and uh, let my audience see what you're growing out here. Okay, so we have some beans over here, a pineapple, some What kind of tomatoes are they, Peyton? Uh, this one has red, and this one is red beef steak. Okay. And then we have some carrots. Rosemary. What do you do with the marigold? Um, nothing right now. Well, what's the purpose of it being in your garden? Uh, for pollination. Pollination, great. And then we have basil and a That's awesome. So, what got you started in gardening? Hunter. Your neighbor, Hunter? Yes. All right. Do you um, talk to your peers about gardening? Yeah, I do. And, and how do they respond? They give me other tips and help me out. That's cool. That's cool. All right, is that it? Yep. All righty. All right, we're across the street at Hunter's house. Uh, Hunter is Peyton's partner in uh, Garden Life, and he's gonna show us around his garden. All right, so I've been growing a garden for like maybe two years now, and this is how it's going. So right here we have some Barbados cherry just growing in like a medium-sized pot. I'm gonna plant it outside later, and then- About a three-gallon pot. Yeah, and then we have a red bell pepper, this died off during the winter, but I'm trying to bring it back to life and get it some new foliage. Uh, we have orange habanero that's been growing pretty well here. We got a couple of habaneros. And then some yellow bell, which hasn't been growing too good because it's been getting eaten. And then some oregano and then some very tall eggplant. It's been flowering a ton, but it hasn't been producing. So a muscadine grape, and that hasn't fruited yet because I've only had it for about a year now. I've just been growing it in this tomato trellis, which has been going pretty good. Uh, Napop passion flower, and some celery, blackberry. Um, this is just a random tomato plant. It is sun sugar tomato. I, have, I don't have it because of the irrigation though. And then we have some beans. I'm not quite sure. I think this is green bean. And then this vining bean right here. I'm not sure what it is. We have a brown turkey fig tree over nice. here. There are a couple figs growing on here. And then we have some flowers for pollination. An aloe vera plant. Watermelon that I've just let grow everywhere. Uh, this is a green bell pepper plant. Oh no, orange bell pepper plant. And then we have marigold, which has fallen over. I'll just take that up later. Uh, got husky cherry tomato. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's another tomato plant. This is 
red beef steak tomato. And then this is big boy tomato and we have some red pepper. It's native to Florida. I got it at Red Wagon Nursery. And we have some sweet potatoes and they were doing good but the irrigation wasn't supplying water to it so then it kind of died off. We have a sunflower which has been growing amazing. Some raspberry, a date palm, and then dragon fruit. And then over here we have some wood peppers and eggplants. This is eggplant. Fresno, which is, I'm trying to get it to grow back green leaves, but it's not been going too well. Some jalapeno, artichoke, a big blueberry plant, some celery that's flowering, uh, rosemary, milkweed, parsley, thyme, and then I just, Coach Sal gave me some little Everglades tomatoes. I just squished those and put them all in here. I'm just going to let these grow out. And then we have pineapple growing right here. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of plant this is, but it comes out with like a big, beautiful flower. It's like kind of like a I think it's a relative to aloe vera. And then some garlic. I'm just letting this grow out. Um, and then some more flowers, a little cactus, another cactus. This is, um, I'm not sure what kind of raspberry, but it is a raspberry. And this is some more flowers, another tomato plant. And then I had peas growing all along here, but then they died off because of the heat. And then I've got some uh, I've been propagate, propagating some tomato, milkweed, uh, pepper, and some passion fruit, which hasn't been working out too good. Uh, strawberry, which is growing right here, there's little seedlings. And then under this uh, humidity dome, we have some kale growing. And then, let's, and then we have an ice cream banana tree right here. And then some Hamlin oranges. It flowered a lot, but the pollinators just didn't, didn't seem to get to it. And then we have like an unused arrow garden that I got at home, so it's just been sitting here. But yeah, it's pretty much it. And then as we come over here, you'll see all the plants that I'm going to put in the pond. So Hunter's I, building a pond. We're going to show you that in just a minute. I'm not sure what these two are, but. Yeah, and then, so, they're just going to go over there. They've been growing really good. Some birds of paradise. Uh, this is sweet viburnum. 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 And then we have lax lily. Where'd you get all these plants? Got about loads. That's like my main, you know, some Maui yellow, Dora. Dina. I'm not sure how to say that. And I got just a couple more flowers to go out there. But that's the progress of the pond. Right so I just dug a hole probably seven feet and then like maybe three feet across. It's probably like three feet deep. So we're going to put some uh, chocolate flagstone all around here. And then some more flagstone here. So we have a 1,170 gallon per hour pump right here. I think that's a bit too much, but it's going to work out. And then something that's like here, I don't know if you can really see it. So we have like a nice waterfall right here. Nice. We're going to put some water lily, maybe lotus, and Possibly watercress in here, probably some goldfish. And we have a sentient cord running all under here. But that's pretty much it for my garden. All right, so it's so great to see young people that are interested in growing food and having a garden. Uh, thank you guys for showing me around and let me see your um, what you're growing here. 
Um, don't forget to check Peyton and uh, Hunter out on their channel, Garden Life. And um, I wanted to ask you guys why you enjoy gardening and, and, and what, what is it about gardening that you particularly like? Well, I like gardening because it relieves stress after a long day of school and also makes me really happy when I'm grown I like it because it's satisfying to eat food that you've grown and it's fun to see your plants grow and yeah. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you having me over and good luck with your channel.